I have seen what is perhaps the most devastating advancement this week in a phishing email campaign from a specific attacker. And as a defender, I have to say this one actually is going to scare me if too many people or too many attackers start using this tactics. I've seen the gradual behavioural change over the past couple of years of how attackers are trying to get phishing emails into companies. And traditionally, we'd, we would see like, like 100 plus emails being sent into the company with one link. And that was generally quite easy to spot and stop. So instead of emailing large numbers of people, they would reduce the numbers, make it more and more targeted each time, use more of a variety of links. Well, they actually turn them over quite quick. But it was still possible to stop that. Now, in this latest campaign, what we have is something fairly benign. It doesn't really look like the standard, I have shared a file with you. No, it's a cordial invitation. But behind that, links to a PDF with a lot of different links on it. And it changes the links. I don't know exactly now how it changes it, but basically I think there was like 12 different sites used on this. Now, what scares me as a defender, if a lot of attackers use that tactic, so instead of, say, blocking 10 sites in a day from all the different campaigns, we'd be blocking 100 plus sites per day. Now, this is going to become untenable. But let me show you some of what we have had this week, and I'll show you this campaign. I'm going to start with a couple of different ones, because earlier in the week we had attackers spoofing our message quarantine system one incredibly successfully and actually so successful i'm not going to show you the picture or anything because that will just perhaps open us up to more of an attack but this one was not such a good attempt but what they did do they said message is from company name trusted source and we are oh, great yeah it's trusted no, no what says it's trusted is just that little line at the top of the screen and that's a contrast to the Microsoft ones where they're warning you it is an untrusted message or warning it's potentially malicious where they've got the bright red banner or more like a rose colour banner. So that one happened. But now to the cordial invitation. So it just says hi user's email address. They have shared cordial invitation with you and at the bottom you'll notice it is virus free. So yes, Avast has confirmed, confirmed in quotes, that there is no virus here. Brilliant, that lulls me into a full sense of security that there are no viruses here. Although technically they could be correct, there are no viruses there. But clicking that link would lead to a file on box.com. This is a PDF file. Now I did capture the images earlier today. Sorry about the quality here. Unfortunately, looking at the file now, it has been removed. This is a PDF that I've seen quite a few times. Just a simple request to click a link to access a document. It is all just fake, it's just pictures put together, it's nothing to do with Microsoft. But upon clicking it, you'll get a OneDrive login screen. But you'll notice the address at the top of the screen there, fezmidinatur.top. Well, that's nothing to do with Microsoft at all. Microsoft aren't exactly renowned for buying domains on a cheap .top, top-level domain provider. It's all fairly simple and nothing too far different to what I've seen before. But the PDF. Well, the code behind it. Yeah, there's um, quite a lot of URLs listed here. A lot. Quite a lot indeed. So the first 163 lines is taken up by various different URLs. And the rest of the document is fairly legible. That's just because of the pictures. But those links, well, we can get a list of them using strings and grep. I suppose I could also use cut or set or anyway, there's various tools you could use. I'm just going to go for cut just to extract that URL completely. So use cut to extract field two and use the bracket as a delimiter there. And yeah, same for the other side, but field one. So that gives us a list of URLs. Not all the sites are available at one time. So it seems like the attackers are actually taking the sites on and offline. In fact, because they use Cloudflare for a lot of these, you get to see the... Um, default Cloudflare page when the remote server is not available. No doubt this was done to prevent automatic analysis and categorization of the domains. Looks like this campaign is actually very targeted. Uh, this is one of the pages, well that's the one we just looked at, penguinbusiness.icu. 
awful top level domain. Like if you've got the ability to block top level domains, block ICU and top. Like they're, they're just so many malicious sites there. And there's another one, we fix credit fast or ICU. There's so few queries. When was the site set up? No doubt set up for a specific purpose. So May 22nd, what day are we at the moment? May 24th, so very new creation. Uh, was it going to be the same for this? Yeah, oh, May 23rd, yeah. So they're very new domains set up for this exact purpose. Yeah, there's another one, so 23 hits on that one. This is just the statistics from Cisco, so OpenDNS and Umbrella. Oh, set up May the 20th here. Only one of these sites has actually been reported as malicious, so well, the attackers have got quite a few chances to get people there. So this tactic does concern me as a defender, because it's now going to be so much more difficult to look through all those different lists of URLs to see if anyone has gone there, and I've got so much more effort now to block them. Yeah, it's just going to increase our workload. I suppose it does also increase the workload for the attacker, they've got to set up all these different domains as well, but they've only got to win once. I've got to win every time. And that's going to make my life a lot more difficult. So that was the new tactics being used on phishing emails. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.